Hey, welcome to Goobertown Hobbies. My name is Brent and this is a behind the scenes vlog. Now, being a mini painting YouTuber is just about the silliest job that I've ever heard of. So I figured I'd show you what I do all day. Now, we have a lot to do this week. It's Monday morning, so we're gonna get set up for a lot of activities. Let's head over to the caster desk and I'll show you what's going on. Oh, also, if you're new to this channel, please feel free to poke around. I paint models for tabletop games, and I make videos about it. The goal is to put out about one video per week, but sometimes it's more like two or three videos per month. I started this channel about three years ago, and during that time it went from being a hobby to being my full-time job. Things are constantly evolving, but this is what it's like right now. Okay, so as always, we're working on multiple videos at the same time. Currently, I have a mini up for raffle in the Nova Open Charitable Foundation. I uh, recently have been playing around with uh, Rain in Hell. So this is from uh, Tabletop Minions and Vince Venturella and uh, hey Gordon, this is normal too. Hey buddy. Wait, is this guy gonna spoil the next couple months of videos? Let's actually not do that. Suffice it to say, I always have multiple irons in the fire. At any given time, three or four videos are in active development, and about that many are on the back burner waiting for their chance. Sometimes this seems like a really efficient way to do things, always staying busy and getting stuff done. And sometimes it seems really inefficient and scatterbrained. But hey, it is what it is. And this is the view from the casting desk. I've got a screen there to make sure I'm in focus and I'm not looking too goofy or too serious. On the other side of the room is my painting desk. So here I am over at the painting desk. I've got a uh, bunch of lights everywhere, all my paints, bunch of models, and I've got this black backdrop that I use. And I've got my, my camera posted right over here, kind of uh, next to my right ear. So uh, I'm actually left-handed, so it's on my non-dominant side. And, uh, you know, I kind of sit back here and I paint. And I also have this external monitor to make sure that I can see what I'm doing. All right, I've got, I've got this thing to, to brace my hands while I paint and it, it helps me to keep things in frame and in focus. So I'm all set up here now. I've got my hand braced so that it's uh, on screen. I've got my camera right here next to my right ear. Um, it's showing me what's, it, it's filming over here on the monitor. And uh, hopefully I can get some nice footage of me painting these space marines. All right, so I'm currently working on these four Chaos Space Marines. And this is to go along with that video for the Nova Open Charity Raffle. Uh, I want to show uh, actually how fun and easy it turns out that Chaos Space Marines are to paint. I've been working on this for like an hour and a half. We're making pretty good progress. Uh, I just remembered that I set up a 3D printer run last night. So let's go downstairs and check out those kobolds. Ooh, okay, it looks like some of the kobolds printed and some of them did not. Uh, this is gonna be a little bit of a mess, I think. I'm gonna have to figure out what's going on with my, uh, my files there. And um, yeah, I think we'll clean this up later. So I just had lunch and then I posted an orc over on Instagram. I posted those Chaos Space Marines up on Twitter, hashtag hobby streak. And uh, now I am loading that footage into my editing software. Really, I just want to get an idea of what I have, and then I can start thinking about what I want the flow of that video to be, and I can start writing a script. Okay, uh, a couple of exciting things just happened. Um, right at the same time, one, I got a message from Guy at Midwinter Minis. He just finished the edit of a battle report that I did with uh, him and his friends last week. And so that was really cool to check out and, and you should go check it out too if you haven't yet. And uh, right at the same time, I got a package in the mail from Games Workshop. So let's go ahead and open that up. 
Now, I've been a little cheeky towards Games Workshop lately, so this could be a glitter bomb. Um, should be fun either way. I get review stock from a variety of different companies. It averages out to maybe one piece of mail per week. I'm never obligated to put review stock on my channel. If it's cool and it fits into my schedule, I might use it. Otherwise, I won't. Sending review stock to YouTubers is an extremely cheap way to advertise. If I do use a product in a video and one or two viewers decide to buy it, then the company has recouped its cost. Every purchase after the first two is pure profit for that company. So what arrived today is the new starter set for the Age of Sigmar game. I've already featured Dominion, which is a similar product on the channel, so there isn't much benefit for me or my viewers to make a video about this. I was a little bit tempted by the terrain in this box. Okay, so for like 10 minutes there, I seriously considered just dropping everything and making a terrain painting tutorial. Uh, I think this happens to a lot of mini painters who just get distracted by whatever the shiny new thing is, but I'm gonna resist this time. We will make a terrain painting tutorial some other day. We'll get the makeup brushes out, we'll do some dry brushing, but not today, not today. That was a close call though. Okay, so I basically spent all evening working on these Chaos Warriors. And um, yeah, getting them really nice and neat here, and I'm really happy with how they're coming along. So uh, I'm gonna kind of take a moment here to take some, some glamour shots of where they're at, and then I'll move on to giving them some eyes, I guess. All right, it is 11.30 at night, and I have one last recording session here. I am a guest player on the Old as Hell Gamers and Geeks Traveler game, so I'm about to play a game of Traveler. I am off to adventure, and I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, it's Tuesday. Good morning. I've been up for uh, a couple hours at this point. I made an Instagram post, a Twitter post. Actually even did a real quick edit on a, uh, a joke Goobertown Cats video, a, a cat video from yesterday. I threw some music on there, put it up on the, the Goobertown Cats channel. And uh, yeah, I was just taking a look at the footage from yesterday. I think the vlog is coming along okay. So I just realized that I should probably give a tour of the studio. So yep, I am lucky enough to have loving parents with a spare room over their garage. Welcome to Goobertown. There was a time when I had a big boy job and a reasonably nice apartment. And then a very silly opportunity arrived. This YouTube channel that I was doing for fun started getting a lot of views. I had an opportunity to change careers and follow a ridiculous dream. I decided to take the jump and uh, do what I needed to do. I resigned from my job, I moved into this highly affordable studio space, and I became a full-time YouTuber. This is where I bunkered down during COVID. I don't plan on being here forever, but for now, yeah, this is a pretty great place to make hobby videos. I'm truly grateful that any of this was even an option. The black cage thing around the caster desk is made of T-slot aluminum, and it replaces about a zillion tripods for lights and cameras and microphones. It saves a ton of space, and it allows me to mount all that equipment nice and solid in convenient locations. After lunch, I went to a local co-working space. Now, I rent a small desk here. When I feel that my efficiency is starting to slump at home, I can leave the house, come here, and knock out some emails. It's also a good place to write scripts. 
Sometimes I come here and I just watch a bunch of other hobby videos and leave comments and try to be an active member of the community. All right, so I've been in the co-working space for about six hours now. The, the sun has gone down. I responded to a whole bunch of emails and I wrote a script for the Chaos Space Marine video and I watched some YouTube videos and left some nice comments and I checked out a few Twitch streams and left some nice comments and uh, yeah, I'm done being productive here for a little while. So I'm going to go home and get some dinner. So yesterday I checked the mail and I got a bunch of goodies from Games Workshop. Today I checked the mail. I got jury duty. You win some, you lose some. Good morning, it is Wednesday. So it has now been one week since the last time I posted a video on Goobertown Hobbies. And I've been working on videos that whole time, but I don't yet have one ready to post. So around this time, I kind of buckle down, pick the next video, and dedicate most of my efforts to getting that done. So uh, at this point, the Chaos Space Marine video is closest to being ready. So we figure we can uh, get that finished up and out the door before I start getting comments from people asking if I'm okay or if I'm in the hospital or anything like that. And I don't want people to worry, so let's try to get a video out there and reset that timer. Um, I've got to finish the paint jobs. I've got to get some glamour shots. I've got to finish the script, record a voiceover, record a little bit of on-camera stuff, and then edit all that down. So it is already 3.20 in the afternoon. Uh, I got those glamour shots done um, of the Space Marines and the canoe. I got the go-ahead from Loot Studios to, to tease that canoe sculpt up on social media. So I got that posted on Twitter and Instagram. And um, yeah, just been catching up with the news here. So first off, uh, an interview I did with a small blog got published today, so that's cool. Um, but also in the news today, today's the day of the walkout at Activision Blizzard. Um, and then separately from that, there's also been a news story going around about a former employee at Games Workshop who posted uh, his salary history, and it was very low for, for a game designer. And so uh, kind of those are the, the stories of the day. And since I do have a voice in the gaming community, I need to decide um, if I'm going to comment them, on them and what I want to say. So. I real quick did a tweet uh, about Activision walkout. So just Goobertown Hobby supports the uh, Activision Blizzard walkout. And it's not much, but it's something. And uh, now I've got to move on with my day. So I think the next step is to take a look at these glamour shots for the Chaos Space Marines and try to figure out what I want to do for a thumbnail for this video. Um, I do think I already know the title. And then if I get a, a good thumbnail, then the video should do reasonably well. Um, and once those two things are in hand, then I can finish up the script and record the voiceover. So I'm going to get to it. Okay, it's been hot all week. But right now, this evening, the weather is really nice. So I'm going to take this opportunity and go for a jog. And, you know, I'll be a crazy person and wear a GoPro. Why not? Uh, so yeah, I guess running really shakes the heck out of the GoPro camera, but you get the idea. So I've spent most of my life being almost sort of in shape, but not quite there, but maybe someday. And uh, being a mini painting YouTuber is sedentary and I eat too many Funyuns. I do try to get a bit of exercise here and there. It's good for fitness, and it's good for mental health. In my mind, uh, the fact that I'm on camera a lot is a bit of extra motivation to not let things slide too far. Here we are out for a nice little run. A nice little break from making videos.
All right, it's time to get back to work. I've got my video editor up. I've got the script that I started yesterday. And so I'm gonna to try to tighten up that script and get ready to record a voiceover. It's 10, 15 at night, and I am actually back at the co-working space. There's this little like podcasting recording studio in the basement here, and it's where I like to go to record some of my voiceovers. Now, uh, I like to record at night. It, there's less noise from traffic, less noise from kids, less noise from lawnmowers. Um, and sometimes I can record pretty well at night in Goobertown but sometimes I just have this feeling that uh, those cats are gonna be a pain. You know, one of them starts munching and crunching on food, one of them goes to the litter box, one of them starts scratching the scratching post, one of them just starts scratching their face really loud. And the microphone picks up on a lot of that, but also just it, it like gets in my head and it breaks my concentration. So I actually really like this tiny little room. Um, it lets me like focus and concentrate on saying the words that I want to say. When people ask me what minis are good for beginners, my answer is always that you should paint whatever you're excited to paint. Paint anything that looks like fun. Every model has pros and cons, and the most important thing is that you pick up a brush and dive on in. Okay, so I'm on the third page of a four-page script right now, and I just messed up the same line like ten times in a row. So we're turning on the camera, and the pressure's really on now. Uh, I gotta get this line. Let's go. Okay. <clears throat> We went for a classic corn look with some dr We went for a classic corn look with some dramatic shadows. These are chaotic engines of war, but we decided that they'd be These are chaotic engines of war, but we decided that they'll be depicted in relatively clean working condition. These are chaotic engines of war, but we decided that they'll be depicted in relatively clean working condition. It was depicted. Depicted was screwing me up. All right, we got it now, though. We got it. Okay, we got it. We had to say some lines, like, many times, but uh, we got it. Um, yeah, it's 11.30 now. It's time to head home. We've got one more thing to do tonight. Good morning, it is Thursday. Okay, we've arrived at the part of this job that I like the least. So I need to listen to that voiceover from last night and listen to myself say lines wrong over and over and over again, and I need to go through and delete those one by one. So, um, yeah, let's get on with it. Every model has pros and cons, and the most important thing is that you pick up a brush and dive on in. Every model has pros and cons, and the most important thing is that you pick up a brush and dive on in. Later in the morning, I did some networking. Uh, I'm slowly getting to know more and more people in the industry. And this is my first time meeting with Joseph Piddington from Ocean View Studios. He created the first honest-to-gosh documentary about our hobby, Mini Wargaming the Movie. It was great to meet Joseph. I suspect we're both going to be in this hobby and making videos for many years to come, so he's a good person to know. He's got another project coming up on the horizon called the Wargaming Stories. The details haven't been announced yet, but there are going to be in-depth interviews with a lot of industry legends. After chatting with Joe, I put in some more time editing that voiceover. Then I made a curry. Uh, we're gonna do a little bit of filming here. 
This is gonna make sense. Eventually. Sort of. I started off Friday morning by recording an interview. Hey, well, thanks for joining us again for the foundation this year. Can you tell me a little bit about what your involvement is? Because I think you've got some some entries into the raffle. Yeah, so this is my second year doing stuff with the NLCF. And uh, last year I did some, some blood angels. I painted 30 blood angels for last year's raffle. Uh, this year, I tried to scale that back a little bit. All right, it is Friday afternoon somehow. I've spent a lot of the past 24 hours uh, editing, both for the Paint Bravely podcast we recorded and also that video I've been working on. And uh, yep, pretty burned out from editing right now. Um, I also had a chance to judge a small mini painting competition, and I was able to uh, do a quick interview with Paul Murphy from uh, Forge the Narrative. He's doing the promotional stuff for the Nova Open Charitable Foundation. And um, yeah, so it is Friday. Um, that video I've been working on is not gonna come out today. And I have a, a suspicion that videos published on Saturdays just don't do as well. So I'm gonna either wait till Sunday or Monday to try to publish that video, which means I can step away from editing right now and do something a little more fun. I feel like getting started on this canoe uh, from Loot Studios here, um, either the big one or the, or the smaller one. And um, yeah, so I think I'm going to spend uh, a lot of the evening here working on this. Uh, I know I also need to get some more uh, thumbnail pictures of my face. Casey says he needs more of those for, for the Paint Bravely episodes. The only problem is... Um, and I'm feeling pretty tired right now. I've got these bags under my eyes, so not a very pretty face right now. I might might try to get some sleep tonight and maybe wake up tomorrow and and uh, you know be all fresh and get some nice pictures then. We'll see. All right, it's Saturday. The, uh... Hey, Snuffles. All right, it's Saturday. Um, as soon as I can get Snuffles out of the way here, I'm gonna record the intro for this next video as a talking head segment. Welcome to Goobertown Hobbies, my name is Brent. Here's a question that I see a lot. What minis are good for new painters to start with? Okay, the actual answer to this question is that you should paint whatever you want to paint. Welcome, welcome to Goobertown, welcome to Goobertown Hobbies, my name is Brent. All right, here's a question that I see a lot. What should you, welcome to Goobertown. Well, I did promise Casey that I'd get him some stupid thumbnail photos.
It is Sunday and the edit for this video is finally starting to look pretty good. So I should be able to finish that up today. Should be able to finish the thumbnail up today and have the video ready to go probably tomorrow morning. Uh, I find that weekday mornings are a good time to release videos. So that'll be Monday morning, maybe around 8 a.m. New York time. Um, and that gives it uh, a good many hours during the day when a lot of Europeans and a lot of Americans are all awake and watching YouTube videos. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I should have some free time today and I'm going to spend it painting Viking Brent. It is almost midnight on Sunday, so this is the official end of the seven day vlog. But you know what? I think that we're gonna have to, to show what it's like to release a video tomorrow, so we'll do a little bit of overtime. But yeah, I finished up the edit, I got the video uploaded, and I just picked out my thumbnail. Maybe I'll tweak it, but I think this is gonna be the thumbnail for the video. So like I said, it's almost midnight. I'm probably gonna do a little bit of painting before bed. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow and we will publish a video. It's Monday morning, it's 9.20, I'm ready to release this video, all I need to do is press a button. So yeah, the exciting conclusion to this vlog is gonna be some bar graphs, and um, it might actually be a lot of fun. Okay, here we go, the video is live. The graph on the right is the number of views over a 60 minute period, and each bar is the number of views in one minute. The graph on the left is total views over a 48 hour period, and each bar is the number of views during one hour. I'm fast forwarding this a bit to make it more fun to watch. So when a new video launches, the folks who are subscribed and who rung the little bell get a notification that they can come leave a comment to let everybody know that they were there first. Some views come from notifications, but actually more views come from YouTube putting the thumbnail onto the YouTube homepage or the sidebars. It's generally the case that the first few hours get the most views. Every once in a while a video will go viral and the number of views every hour grows. But for the most part, the first few hours get the most views and it declines over time. So here's a variant of that graph that shows the analytics for the whole channel. These are the stats from all Goobertown videos added up. You can see that over the past 48 hours, things were relatively stable, with a bit of a pattern based on when people are awake and watching videos. Views seem to peak around 3 p.m. New York time. It had been almost 12 days since posting a new video, so things were kind of at a baseline. There was one video from more than a year ago that was having a really good week for some reason and getting way more views than normal, but other than that, things were puttering along as usual. And then the new video gets posted and we get a big spike. Lots of Goobertown viewers out there checking out the new video. 
So when we post a new video, we can expect higher than average views for a few days. And then things calm down again as that newish video kind of joins the rest of the pack. Hopefully this video contributed a nice spike to the charity raffle. And now the fun of releasing a new video is calming down. It's time to get back to work. It's Monday again and the clock is ticking. So yeah, this is pretty much what a week in Goobertown looks like. Uh, trying to stay busy all day, every day, trying to get some hobby done, trying to make some videos, um, always falling farther and farther behind on projects that I want to be doing, but, but having fun nonetheless. It's still silly to me that this is a real job, but uh, here we are and I am grateful that it is. So thanks so much for all of you for watching these videos and supporting the channel and hanging out with me. Um, we appreciate it. <laughs> so, yeah, I guess I better end this video here. I've got to get back to work on the next Goobertown roulette. So, uh, that's it for this time. I'll be seeing you soon. Uh, okay, bye!